The 2025 Chevrolet Corvette did not simply show up to a lab and take a hit, it went through a carefully scripted side pole impact that mirrors one of the most dangerous real world crashes when a car slides into a fixed object, such as a tree or a utility pole. Engineers position the car at a precise angle, set the speed, and load it with high fidelity sensors inside the crash test dummy and around the cabin. When the countdown ends, the coupe meets the pole and the data tells a story about structure, airbags, and survivability for the person inside. This evaluation focuses on how well the Corvette's side structure manages intrusion and how quickly the restraints react. The door ring, sills, and floor pan are designed to root energy away from the chest and pelvis, while the curtain and thorax airbags have a split-second window to create a safe space between the occupant and the intruding pole. The timing matters as much as the force. Deploy too early or too late and the protection drops. What you want to see is limited cabin intrusion, controlled dummy chest deflection, and head injury values that remain within accepted limits, which points to a strong body and well-tuned restraint logic. Modern side pole work is as much about electronics as it is about metal. The Corvette control unit reads the crash signature from multiple sensors and then fires the correct bags with the correct venting profile. That orchestration turns a violent localized hit into a survivable event. Occupant motion in those first milliseconds must stay controlled. Good results come from a stiff side structure, a roof rail that does not fold under load, and airbags that remain inflated long enough to keep the head away from the pole. Engineers also study what happens after the hit. Doors should not jam beyond rescue tool access expectations. Fuel systems must hold pressure without leaks and high voltage components remain isolated. If the restraint control flags a deploy event properly and the post-crash protocols behave as designed, first responders get a safer environment to work in. These quieter winds are important when every second matters. A note on dummies and measurements. Chest deflection, pelvis acceleration, and head injury criteria are surrogates for real trauma. Keeping them low is the payoff for structure, adhesive, ultra high strength steel, and airbag tuning. For a performance car like the Corvette, which sits low and already has less distance between the occupant and a pole, getting this right is essential. In short, this test shows whether the Corvette promise of speed is matched by a plan for safety when things go wrong. The evidence from the lab points to a car engineered to keep the occupant head protected, the chest loads controlled, and the cabin integrity intact. If this helped, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss future deep dives and crash tests.